Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I'm your host on this channel, Jess Signatures. Okay. okay, I want to I want to say a very big sorry, a very, very big sorry to everyone who has been expecting a video from me for the last two weeks. I've been off for a very good reason and I made a post about it because I was having um, issues with my editing app, my editing software, whatever it's called, I don't know. But the application in which I use in editing my videos, I had issues with it. So, uh, but it's all fixed now. So your girl is fully back. I'm back to posting videos for you every single week and twice a week, depends on the, the wood. So guys, um, in today's video, what we'll be doing is this beautiful off-shoulder dress. Uh, I said beautiful because it is beautiful. And in this video, I made sure to break down every single detail for you. So this is a video you do not want to miss because it's in step. I like I did it step by step. Like I really, really broke down the video. As you can see, the um, picture in front of you right now, it is three parts. And those three parts i broke it down for you in detail so this video is more for beginners and also for professionals who just need another person's perception or view of how to make it so guys if this is what you'll be interested in watching please um stay tuned and follow me to the workstation anywho if you've not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it will not cost you a thing but it will mean a whole lot to me and help the channel to grow more and uh, you want it to grow so you'll be able to get more videos like this and if there is any suggestion leave it down in the comment section like we usually do and i'll make sure to attend to them and i'll make sure to attend to every comment i get like i always do if you like this video give it a thumbs up turn up my post notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post any new video all right guys without further ado let's get into this video okay guys so this style is divided into three parts now the first part the first part we have um what's a coat let's say don't beat me, I don't know how to sketch. Let's say this is the first part. Then we are so now this is the first part. This is one. This is two. Is three. This part is the basic bodies, basic skirt, this basic bodies, basic skirts, and then um, we have circle skirts. And this body is off shoulder. Here, yeah. off shoulder. So you need to basically understand whatever you want to design. You see, when you see some styles, you think they are difficult and all that. But trust me, they are simple if you can break down the analysis. So now for us to get the measurements we'll be working with, the first thing we'll do is the half length. Now, the half length of this dress is from the shoulder to the waist point. Now, the half length that I'm working with here is 17 inches. 17 inches. By the way, you need to get the full length measurement first. Now, the full length that I want to do, the person's actual full length is uh, 60 inches. But I'll be adding an extra 10 inches to make it 70 inches because we want that drama on the floor. So the full length is 70 inches. 70 inches. And this is 17 inches. Now for the full, like her full gown length is um 
38 inches give or take 38 minus 17 21 you don't have to do this 17 uh, 38 minus 17 you can just measure from the person's waist to the person's knee and you get your measurement now this 17 and 21 will give us 38 this 17 you add them together 17 plus 21 will give us 38 this 38 you subtract it from your 70 38 minus m okay this is wrong math 70 minus 38 to give us 32 so which means the lower part will be 32 inches the upper this part will be 21 inches and this part will be 17 inches now this part would not just be 17 inches for the upper part for the upper part let's go to the back now for this upper part it's not just going to be 17 inches because it's an off shoulder now you determine how much low you want you can see from the diagram we have it's really really low it's super low this should be about 10 inches away but for it to be a bit decent i'll be taking off seven inches so minus seven inches and these basic bodies will be 10 inches the remaining measurements remain the same so guys having have having gotten all of those measurements let's go to the workstation so guys there are different ways to make an off shoulder you can decide to um do the basic uh, bodies pattern and then draft out your off shoulder from whatever length you want it to be or you can do this method that i'm about to do now the reason why i'm not drafting the full basic uh, bodies is because on this channel we'll be doing the basic bodies the basic bodies and even when we make um corsets we had to draft the basic bodies and remove the lower part so instead of doing that all the time i wanted people who uh, didn't know about this method to know about it so guys let's get right into it now the first thing to determine is how many inches you want to take away from um the bodies you know a full scale measurement is starting from the nape of your neck down to the half length but this is an off shoulder now from the uh introduction video i already said um we'll be taking out 10 inches we'll be taking out seven inches rather so you can take out i think the least you should take out for an off shoulder the least should be four inches yeah the least should be four inches it should not go lower than four inches for it to be an off shoulder dress or top so now for me i think the highest i've done is six inches but this dress is really low so i'm even thinking of like making it eight inches but i want this person to be able to rock it even after the event she's going for so um i'll be doing eight inches um uh, seven inches rather so all you do is you take your tape measure locate seven inches and place it at the top of your fabric or pattern paper whatever you're working with you place it at the start point if you have a start line you can place it on the start line but i'm starting at the edge of my pattern paper so from that point you take all other measurements you need to take so the first thing to put into consideration is the shoulder to bust measurement now the shoulder to bust i'll be using um 10.5 inches for her shoulder to under uh, under bust 14 inches shoulder to waist 17 inches and i'll do the same thing all across the paper just so i can have a straight line um, 10 and a half 14 and 17 so now i can decide to rule up the lines 
like I said initially, this um, design or this clothes is not hard at all. You just need to understand uh, the basic process. Now, to get the armhole line, the vertical line for the armhole still on your seven, still starting from your seven, if the armhole of the person is eight inches, nine inches, whatever it is, you take it down here. If it's still the 10 inches you took for the bust, you take it down there. So now, I'll just be marking nine inches for her because that is her. Around armhole is 18 inches. So I'm marking nine inches for her. So now, to get your shoulder measurement, you know now there is no shoulder, it has to be off shoulder. Her shoulder measurement is 15 inches. 15 by 2 is 7.5 inches if you are doing a normal shoulder dress. When I'm doing anything of the shoulder, I like to take out one inch from the actual shoulder measurement. So let's say my shoulder measurement is 16 inches, so it, when I'm doing half scale like this, I'm supposed to take eight inches but because this person's uh, shoulder measurement is 15 inches it means we'll be taking the half scale measurement 15 uh, minus 1 is 14 inches so what we'll be taking is 7 inches so I'll be taking the 7 inches like this and on the arm all line 7 inches remember that dot made for the armhole so you just rule your seven inches line you see it's already looking like um, a basic body without the yoke part you, you know when you, you the other method we are beginning we're doing the full scale and when we cut out the um, tube part or the off shoulder part the yoke will be left out but because we didn't we don't need the yoke and we don't have to waste pattern paper or if you're drafting on your fabric you don't have to waste your fabric you just go straight to the point with this method and it works trust me so now you know the normal basic things we do we take a bus measurement divided by four this person's bus measurement divided by four is nine inches so i'll take nine inches here and you put whatever allowance you want to put so let's just do two inches for now if we have to increase we'll increase it later on you do the same thing on the bust line nine inches then two inches allowance then you go to the under bust point the under bust point and our under bust measurement is 30 one inch is 31 divided by 4 is 7.75 inches take 7.75 plus 2 inches then the waist measurement is 2 inches which will give us 8 inches and then our 2 inches seam allowance that like this is just it for this particular dress now you can decide to add seam allowance to this part which i'll be doing because this seam allowance is to enable us to join uh the upper part to the middle piece you know this um, dress has three parts so it will enable us to join the upper part to the middle part without altering measurements on the main bodies so now after doing all of this the next thing to do is to determine the design you want for this fabric if you want um, like a princess dart whatever kind of dart you want you can give it to this fabric so now i don't think personally i'll not be making any darts for this because there is a design up front that gets to the waist now this design this design, I'll have it on your screen. This design, you decide how wide and how thin you want it to be. So on the bust point, I just want one inch. And this one inch consists of my sewing allowance because I don't want it open at all. I don't want it open at all. So 
from this one inch you can decide to keep measuring but because i just want to eyeball it and create the design of my choice i wouldn't be i wouldn't be uh, making a, a fuss out of it so guys what we'll do now is um You create whatever design you want to create. So at this point, I'll advise you use your pencil first in order not to have um, cancellation and stuff like that. You know? So I'm just gluing it like this. I just hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I just hope so. I think I should move closer. So, just rule like this. Now, if we're following the design on the dress pattern, this part is supposed to curve right to this point because it's under the ample that it sits. But because I don't want this to sit under the apple, or should we do that? I'm thinking about it. I think it will make it look even finer. So now if you want to do this particular design, all you need to do is to draw a curved line. You draw a curved line connecting it to this part if you want to follow the exact design on that. But no, I don't think I'll be doing that because my brother and my sisters. Let's do something we can wear after the occasion. You know what I'm talking about. So I just do it. And I will try as much as possible to make it blend. You can see, I'm just blending in. And I connect straight to the armhole. Where the armhole starts. Now, for the armhole, I just rule like normal armhole design and then if you would be putting any dart this is the time to put the dart but I'll not be putting that so I might just end up putting the basic dart in front of the dress and that's it okay let's do that Let's do the basic that. This is the bust point, so it's not going to get to the bust point. So from the bust point, it will be coming down by one inch. And then If you just want the basic that so if you just want the basic that this is what you'll be doing if you want a princess that you can connect to this part but I'm not going to go into all of those now so we'll cut
sling it so as you can see i already cut them out this is the front i cut two and i cut lining pieces for it this is the back lining piece skirt part if you don't know how to make a basic skirt i have a video on my channel so guys the two front panel you can see it's already looking like what we have then the two i cut it out on fold this is what we're going to do Pin it down and so now you can decide to notch where it's going to stop. So what I'm doing here is just transferring my notch so I'll move where it will stop so that you know it's going to stop here. So the next thing to do is to use your You sew this part up first. Let's sew up this part first. I'll come back. So it will be easier to explain. So that you can see, I've already joined it down here. By the time we go to the back and open it up, this is how it's going to be. So. What we do now is to join the two. So you put it on one side, you join. After joining it, it will fall like this. You put it on the other side, you join, and to be in the middle, then you use your lining to turn the fabric. So I'll be doing this and I'll be joining the back part. So, guys. After pinning down this part, I want to join it now. Just watch what I'll do. This is the front part. Now the front, I'll put them facing each other. Because I want to join. I just want to sandwich it together. Now this back part, I don't even understand. Let me go again so you can understand. This is how it's supposed to be. Then this part will be on top of it like this. I'll be for your normal stuff. But if you do it like this, it wouldn't clean out the inner part. So for you to make sure it does that, let me do it this way so you understand. See it now. This is for this part. So what we do is you see the way my hand is on it so that you don't understand. You do like this. And place it back on it. Next, for that other side, now you bring it out like this. So you are sewing for this side. I've already sewn before, but I was like, I wanted you guys to be part of the entire process. So now we're sewing on this side. Look, now. Turn it back. I just turned it in so you can see the results. You understand me? So, guys, making this other one now, you see how it is the side. So, now you take you see the joining. I don't know how to explain it for you better, but just look at what I'm doing. You see the joining now. This is the back, 
which means this is the front side because see the joining here it means this is the back now this is the right side right side facing each other she cannot like just right sides facing each other do it right sides facing each other and then so so i'm just making sure it's aligning properly The upper body is ready. Yes, guys. You have the upper body so you like. Back. So, guys, I already went ahead to join the upper bodies to the lower bodies. You can see how neat the inside is looking. And then I joined it at the back, leaving the zip opening. So let's flip it to the front side. So you see. So now you have to get to this stage before you continue. So you see the dress. Are you looking? If you are not adding the lower part to it. This is a dress on its own, like a dress on a very beautiful dress. Um, so just put your sleeve and you're good to go. So the next thing to do is to take the measurement, the circumference of those lower parts. You pick a place to start. Take the circumference. measure back to where it started so here we will have 39 inches now that 39 inches want to use it to get the radius of the circle skirt now what to do the circle skirt i remember previously the search the circle skirt is going to be 32 inches which remains so so now the full length of the skirt skirt length length the skirt length is um 32 inches that's the lower part it's 32 inches now we've got 39 i think i've forgotten the figure we've got so let's go back and measure not easy guys not easy at all so you just go back measure yeah that's now it's correct i don't know how i'm doubting myself so circumference or radius let us use circumference 39 inches so now this 39 inches, you decide if you want a full circle or a half circle. Initially, I was thinking to make two half circles. Now, if we'll be making two half circles, which I'm still contemplating on, 
if we make it two half circles, we divide 39 by 2. That's if you're making two half circles. You divide 39 by 2, give you 19.5. So now this 19.5 divided by 3.142, which is for radius of a half circle. If you want me to do a very detailed tutorial on how to make a circle skirt, I'll make it, but I'll try to make sure you understand what I'm doing here. So guys, this 19.5 divided by 3.142 will give us 6.2. 6.2 now plus the length, 32 inches plus length, 6.2 plus 32, we get 38.2 inches. Then if you're doing two half circles if you're doing two half circles now if you're just doing one half circle if it's just one half circle you do this 39 divided by 3.142 whatever your answer is let's do it divided by 3.142 we got 12.4 you see that we are correct now here we are doing two half circles because we are doing two half circles we got 6.2 for the circumference. 6.2 plus 6.2 give you 12.4. You see that we are correct. So if you're doing one half circle, you'll be doing this. If you're doing two half circles, you'll be doing this. But if you're doing a full circle, if you're doing a full circle, if you're doing a full circle, this is your circumference 39, you divide it by 6.28. That's the radius of a circle. I will not go detailed into this. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comment section down below. So now, 39 divided by um, 6.28 will give us 6.2. See it? Now, you will not be wondering that, okay, if we are... Um, if we are doing 6.2 here, why not just do 6.2 to make it a full circle? Now, if you do these two half circles, the fullness will be different from one circle. Okay? The fullness at the bottom part will be fuller. So now, why I'm, I don't know which to do is because of the availability of my fabric. So now I'll have to check. If I have enough fabric, I'll be doing two half circles. If I don't have enough, I'll be doing one half circle or I'll be doing a full circle. I hope that was well explained. So guys, what we'll do now, remember our full length, our total length that we got, let me refresh our memory. Our total length that we've got for these two half circles is 38.2. So now we want to get the length first. 38.2. So here we go. After getting the length, you fold A22 like this. Please bear with me. I don't have the C stand, so now if you're cutting like a full circle, you fold down. But well, I'm not cutting a full circle, I'm cutting a half circle. So now after folding into two like this, you see this other part, this folded part. You know, we measure 38.2 and folded into two. Now, this folded part where my hand is, you see the other part, the other open part. I would hold this open part like this. Let me come closer. I hold this open part like this and bring this other one here to form like a triangle. You can see my hand to form like a triangle. To form like a triangle. So, guys, you can see we have like this a triangle here now. 
So, the next thing to do is to take the waist circumference. Now, the waist here, this waist circumference here is 6.2. Now, I want to work with this 6.2. You know how we derive this 6.2? Our 39 inches for the circumference of that lower part. We divided it by 2, we got 19.5. That 19.5 divided by 3.140 gave us 6.2. So, you have this video, you can save it or rewatch over and over again for you to understand. So, now from the edge of the triangle, I'm facing this place so that you can see what I'm doing properly. From the edge of this place, we measure 6.2. Measure it round. Measure it round. 6.2. Measure it round. But I did 6 inches because you can decide to measure your actual measurement. Like my 6.2 now, I'm supposed to just measure 6.2. And then when I want to cut, I'll cut half an inch before the 6.2. But it's fine like this because if I need more, I can always trace it down. So now you can decide to measure from here to the end your 38 point, uh, two inches, the 38 point two inches, the 38.2, or you measure from those points 30, 32 inches because you've taken off the 6.2 remaining the length now, that which is 32 inches, guys. I just have to. I want to attach this back neck and joining 
to this one so now just you see inside the circle this is where i want to attach I should open it up. this is it i'll turn it to the other side and attach it so basically we are doing it right sides facing each other right side facing each other so basically you do it all around like you sew it all around so i'll sew it and get back to us this is where we are at so far connected it together see you can leave it as a two dress if you want and then from here you can put whatever sleeve you want you can see how i join it and just join it and then i lift it now let's go to the sleeve guys now this is our fabric so if you want to know, I used 6 meters of fabric for this. If you're not as fat as my person, you can use what I like to do now for the sleeve. Let's go back to the dress. Let's assume we fixed in the zipper. Or let me fix the zipper. I like to draft the sleeve. The first thing you do is to measure the circumference or you measure your client but I advise you measure the fabric itself so if you measure the circumference of the fabric like after measuring this I got 34.5 now the round shoulder measurement for my client is 43 inches 43 inches minus this measurement this me is either you use this measurement or you use your upper chest measurement so i got 34.5 so is 8.5 because we'll be making our sleeve or fold 8.5 divided by 2 give us 4.25 so we get our 4.25 like this. See the line 4.25. Get your 4.25. And then remember, this is our start point of the sleeve. Remember, we came down by 7 inches for the main body. So we're going to do the same thing for the sleeve. On the start line, we put that 7 inches. And then we rule our arm all line. Rule our arm all line. So we just create our curve here. Just create our curve here. And the rest is just your basic sleeve pattern. So you can measure. don't know how to draft a basic sleeve don't worry I got you I have a tutorial on my channel so the sleeve is ready like ready ready All you need to do is if you're lining it, use the lining to turn in the allowance. If you're not, you just fold in the allowance. After folding in the allowance, you get your garment and then you fix. Okay, you sew the edge first and then you fix. You can see when I sew the allowance now, it will match together. So, guys, thank you for 
watching this tutorial i'll make sure to put a video at the end of this um okay a picture at the end of this video so you see the end results thank you for watching i love you all